Ah, hello, welcome back to another King of the Hill reaction. We're on season two, episode eighteen, the final shin salt. Okay, I'm guessing this is the episode like focused on Hank's dad. I mean, I'm guessing it's the episode about him because the first episode he was introduced was shins of the father, I think. Which I mean, because you know, in World War Two or something, his shins got blown out or something along those lines. I can't exactly remember, but but yeah, I mean, I'm guessing it's either like a sequel or just another episode focused on his dad in general because I mean, his dad has been in a couple episodes this season, so. It's not like this is the first time we've seen him since then, so... I don't know, let's just get into it. Good morning, class. Oh, you're right, I forgot Peggy was a, like, teacher or substitute teacher. Now, in preparation for our field trip, your classmates are going to act out a little-known episode of Mexican-American history. Okay, then. The year is 1847. Oh, that is Bobby there. And I'm guessing, that, is that Joseph? I don't know who the other kid is. Attack. Yes, amazing. Illinois Museum for over a century. But okay. This year, America decided to return it to Mexico, even as we speak. Oh, God. And is, it, is this epic of this episode going to be about a bunch of people fucking being pissed off about that? I guess you could say the Arlen Museum is the last leg of the tour. <laughs> yes, amazing. Oh, oh Peggy. <laughs> yeah, no one else is laughing. Well, that looks like your dad's Cadillac. <laughs> oh my god, and he's Hank's dad. Why the fuck is he driving like that, though? Like, I'm guessing he's at the age where he should obviously not be driving. Thanks, Patty. Don't mind if I do. Okay, then. Jeez, Dad, you almost dented the... Yeah, you fucking... Probably, if there was anyone on the footpath along there, you would have ran them over, probably. Right, after we're out. Okay, then. Biddy woman, my toes are cold. Knit me a blanket. I don't have time, honey. I'm oh my god. Yeah, this girl needs to fucking run at this point. Like, she looks like she hasn't slept in ages. So, I guess you're here to cool off for a few days till you two can patch things up? Nope, it's uh, forget. Okay, well, honestly, that's probably better for her to be away from fucking you. Especially since she's like the same age as Hank, I'm pretty sure. Dad, with all due respect... Do not I drive. I don't think you should be driving anymore. Don't you tell me what to do! You ain't my daddy, I'm your daddy! Okay, then. Oh my fucking god! Okay, yeah. Uh, Hank, that reminds me. Uh, we need some chaperones for Bobby's class trip. What kind of trip you taking, Bobby? Vegas? There's a General Santa Ana exhibit at the museum. We did a play about him in school, and I was one of his... Yeah, is he gonna be a fucking... Yeah, I know all about Santa Ana. We got his walking log on the okay. in Illinois, I'm glad to say. Actually, Cotton, the leg is coming through Arlen. America is finally returning the leg to Mexico. Yeah, is he gonna be all yet? Yeah, of course. Dad. <laughs> yeah, take fucking it, take the fight. Oh my god. Follow. Okay then. I mean, if you had to steal shit from other countries, then obviously you should give it back. Like, fucking take the British Museum, for example. Like, isn't everything from that stolen? From, like, other countries? Alright, clicky. Now take down the first letter of every word I say. Okay. Someday. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're obviously too fucking old to be driving, Jesus. Oh, I've never seen anyone miss every single letter. Yeah, how do you even miss, like, the fucking F and Vs, that, like, the ones at the top? So, you had the clerk switch the eye chart. That's a good plan. I mean, yeah. yeah. Does that mean that he's, like, used to it normally? Very sad. Oh, the DMV changed the damn chart on me. That's what they did. I mean, technically true, but it, it was more Hank, to be honest. Here, who did that day, man? On four dang old years, you know, go looking like Cokie Roberts, man. Okay, there then. are ways to get around the oh, license God. problems. So Fucking Dale, stop encouraging this shit. Like, you're making this so much worse. Put a sail on your car. Call okay. it a boat. To yeah. What? Gribble's got a clever idea. Surely that's not going to work. That's fucking insane. Yes, it is stupid. Excuse me, Hank. I guess I'm not as clever as you are. I okay, mean, I then. Could never think of a clever idea like switching the eye chart so your dad. Okay, so he's just straight up telling you everything. You should not be driving. But he's a war hero. Oh my god, that doesn't mean he can do whatever the fuck hero. he wants. You should let him do whatever he wants. No. Shut up, Dale. Yes. For the love of God, please. If you knew what's best for me, you'd have drowned yourself two days after you was born. Jesus Goodbye. Christ. I'm leaving. Yes, please do. Like... Good news. What? Staying with you from now. Okay, then. I'm sure he's going to enjoy that. Daddy's staying with me. Yeah, I feel like you'll get sick of this guy after, like, I don't know, a couple of days. Let's be real. Or maybe you'll enjoy it. I don't know. Hey, Dad. 
I need you to sign my permission slip for that Santa Ana exhibit. Joseph, you know I do not sign any document issued by a government what? institution. It's a fucking school field trip. I'm sure you'll find. Come on back and we'll talk about this. I got a whole box of megalo plates you can break. Okay. Gribbles plates. Thank you very much. Yeah, it probably should be no, breaking it with fucking plates. Thank you very much, sir. Okay. Done. I mean, if he's fine with it, fuck him. <laughs> let, just let him break the plates then. Let me drive you. In. I don't need you. Okay. Gribble made me a license. Surely he's not that convincing. Oh my god. Okay, yeah. Alright, sir. Please step out of the vehicle. Shelly's gonna get like arrested in that because you know, obviously he has a forged fucking fake license. Then I can do you. Oh god oh my god, yeah. That's just a way to get arrested. Severe cases of senile dementia. They can't even remember their son's names. Okay. What? He's not senile, my dad. I mean he could be. I'm letting your son take care of you. You have to promise to be a good boy. Okay, you don't have to treat him like a child. Like, that's the thing that annoys me, though. When old people get treated like, like, they're like five. Where the fuck is he? That he's been gone this long. Oh, fucking course, okay. Hey, I'm not, I don't know why you're so, you're surprised, to be honest. Yeah, amazing. Is he even going to reach the window? <laughs> uh, hey, Dee Dee. Hey. Listen, I'm here to ask you for a big favor. Oh god, no. You gotta patch things up. No, do not put her back into that shitty ass relationship. Oh, there's no patching things up this time, yeah. Hank. Like, look how fucked up she looks. There was magic between us when we first met. Yeah! I've come in here. What the fuck? Was, was she his nurse? Oh, look at you. Aren't you the cutest little helpless thing? <laughs> oh, you're like a little baby in that gown. Okay, yeah, again with the treating old people like they're fucking five is weird. But now the magic's gone. Cotton said my bottom was too small. Okay, jeez. Do you think it's too small? Oh, no. Put that away. It, it, <laughs> it's fine. It's very uh, big. Look, Hank, acetone makes sun. I'm not gonna lie. That fucking dress or whatever, for a second I thought she was wearing like a potato sack or something. Cigar, Hank? No, thanks. Good, because they all been smoked. <laughs> okay. Yes, hilarious. The reason I'm here is to ask you to be a chaperone on Bobby's museum trip. Wait, really? I'll do it. We'll do it. Okay then. Of course. And then you can't... That's another thing that doesn't really seem to happen in Australia. Is like chaperones on on fucking school field trips. The featured exhibit, General Sandy Annie's artificial leg. <gasps> oh, what a Beautiful prosthetic. Those t-shirts do not do it justice. <laughs> what t-shirt? Along with the leg, Mexico will receive a check for the original cost of the leg. $1,300 US. Okay, that's not even that much, to be honest. For some reason, I thought it was going to be cost more. That draft dodger, he can't do that, but Japanese blew my shins off. That doesn't, I, the fact that, again, that he just uses that as a fucking excuse for everything annoys me. Let's settle, people. Okay. What? It's been stolen. Oh my fucking god, there's no way he stole it. How the hell did he manage to steal it without, like, no one noticing, though? <gasps> oh my fucking- of course Dale helped. I mean, yeah, Dale's kind of fucking stupid for this as well, because, like, when they eventually get caught, they're both going to get arrested. The country of Mexico is expecting to get their leg back on Saturday. Oh, delightful! That leg means a lot to them. And my driver's okay. license means a lot to me. Is this seriously what he's gonna try and use to get the fucking driver's license back? He's not his crazy old self anymore. He's yeah, he's just insane. Crazy. Well, he's acting insane, but like in a different way. They nicked you for 22 years. Aunt Peg, Uncle Hank, I just heard on the news. There's a Santa Claus exhibit at the museum. And okay. stole his leg. <laughs> okay. You got me that little uh, goldfish package. Is Dale eventually going to realize that this guy is kind of a prick? Well, yeah, that's the police. He did it! He <laughs> okay. It was his idea. You can have it back. Okay, then. <gasps> what? It's Gordon. I need that leg for leverage in my negotiations with the Mexican. 
government. Okay, then. How the, yeah, how the fuck could the Mexican government is even be able to give you a driver's license considering, you know, it's not even, they would only be able to give you one f in Mexico. And we felt the psychological evaluation had come to an end after he claimed Dr. Mayoshi's stethoscope as a war trophy. Okay. What are you going to do? Just keep him here forever? <laughs> well, <laughs> yes. That's up to you. It's my opinion that he requires supervision. I mean, yeah, it's probably for the best, because it will just get worse. I need to know where that leg is. If I give the leg back, can I get out of here? Just say yes. Not up to me. <laughs> All right. It's in Gribble's golf bag. Okay. I threw a one on it and signed it Lee Trevino. All right, then. Dale's golf bag. Take it easy, Dad. Why do I have a feeling that it's going to somehow be you fucking lost? Well... It's not so bad in there. Really. I mean, it could be worse. Peggy, come on, that was awful. I mean, if they're actually fucking helping him, though, it could be useful. No. Uh, am I gonna live with you and Hank's wife? What's that? Okay, at least refer to her by her name. There's only one other option. To stay here. Oh, wait, what? I feel kind of bad for this lady, like, unless she actually wants to be with him. Like, I feel like it's kind of unfair to force her to look after him. Oh, honey, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. I said your butt was too small, but if anything, it's too big. <laughs> okay, Jesus. I like you for who you is. Okay, that is probably the kindest thing he's ever said to, like, any woman, let's be real. That is retired Captain Barissimo Defino. Thank okay. you. When he straps on Santa Ana's leg and walks it from our flag to his, it will be officially returned to the Mexican people. Why do I have a feeling that? Oh my God! Okay. Well, the important thing is they got it back. <laughs> I guess so, but it's it's fucked now. That's the leg I made for the play. Ooh. So where the fuck's the actual? Okay. Here you are, Senor. One driver's license. Thank you. And here you are. Oh my god, he fucking kept it. So at the end, this fucking guy, what is his name? What's his name? It's Cotton, isn't it? So he got basically everything he wanted at the end. Fuck me. I don't know how to feel, like, when it comes to his wife, technically Hank's stepmother, which, I mean, I find weird because aren't they, like, the same age? But, like, I feel bad for her. Like, does she actually want to be with this guy? Which I don't understand why you would want to be. Honestly, from all the other episodes where she's been in, it honestly seemed like she was just trapped there, but... Maybe she wants to, but I mean, just because she wants to be there doesn't make it any less fucked, in my opinion. But yeah, I mean, that guy is going a... I'll say senile, I was going to say dementia, but I'm not 100% sure if it is dementia or whatever, but... What the fuck? Dale was honestly annoying in this episode. Like, he was just... I mean, it was funny at the end there when he would just, you know, did a complete 180. He was just such an enabler and all that in this episode to the point it was fucking, like... It was kind of annoying, but... But yeah, he definitely should not be fucking driving, though. Like, considering, you know, he, he instead of going straight, he was just, you know, turning all these other ways. I do find it annoying, and it was showcased in this episode where, like, people treat, like, old people as if they're, like, five. Like, I don't know, I just find that's kind of... It's just... I don't know, it just irks me. Like, at least treat them, you know... Like a fucking adult. I don't really have anything else to say about the episode, to be honest. Like, that, like that's the most bearable he has ever been in the episode. But, like, again, he was still fucking annoying. But, oh, well. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.